the hustle, the absolute hustle of a person goes on during the hours when nobody's watching, during the hours when nobody else is doing it, it, it goes uh, unsaid. It goes uh, undocumented. And these are things, that's what makes a master of some, you know, out of someone. It's, it's when they're doing things when nobody else is watching. So stop living your life based on a post and based on, you know, the perception of how you want people to live. Actually, fine, document it and be like, yo, cool. Yeah, just got off the thing. Done. Right? Done. You don't, don't do it in an in intent to, to be like, yo, I'm out hustling. And to everybody. get recognized. To get recognized for shit. Listen, anybody that's done anything great has never done it for the purpose of being recognized. Welcome back to Behind the Strength, where we help you with your health, wealth, and peace of mind. I'm Christian Alvarez. And I'm Carlo Balagese. Welcome back, guys. Thank you very much for listening, for subscribing. If you're new to this podcast, um, we are entrepreneurs who own a fitness and therapy business in uh, Scarborough, Ontario. We are uh, currently expanding into a second location, and uh, we're here to help you. Honestly, we do this for you, and we do this for our feedback from the people. Uh, so any kind of ways that you guys can help us to grow this thing, whether it be share it uh, or give us some ideas as to some pro topics that you want to hear about. Yeah, right? most importantly, hey, man, subscribe to our, our podcast. Give us a good rating or a bad rating if you want. I don't know. Hopefully you like it. If you're listening, you must like it. So if you do like it, there's two things you could do. Actually, three things, but two things important. Rate it. Right, give us a five star if you actually like it, and then share it with a friend. Share it with one friend. Maybe it's your spouse that needs to listen to this shit, and you kind of subconsciously just like a little jab, like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, listen to these guys." Yeah. Um, especially today's episode because we're gonna go off right now because there's a lot of shit that's weighing on our chest, <laughs> with a lot of things that's going on with everything around us, and you know, even you know, social media just and all that people shit. People and all that we're, we're recognizing, um, and it's detrimental to. First of all, everyone's success, the economy, and you know the human life in general. So if you are going to, um, you know, like this podcast, share it with a friend, share it with your spouse, share it with your, you know, teenager if you, if you have a teenager. First of all, today we want to we want to just ask a question: Who out there thinks they hustle, like they actually hustle? When we say hustle, we mean you work your ass off day in and day out, and you think that you're doing something great to grow yourself, your business, um, maybe it's uh, your, your workforce, a job that you're at, and if you think you hustle, please, please listen to this today. You know, I, we were supposed to talk about a different subject today. We were. We, we were going to talk about some diet, and we were going to talk about spot reduction, which we will do another day. I know a lot of people wanted to hear us. Uh, our, our mindset on spot reduction of fat. But we just said, you know what? There's so much bullshit that's going around right now as far as uh, the work ethic of people, the entitlement of people, that we wanted to talk about hustle. What does it mean to hustle? What does it look like and what does it feel like to hustle? And what does it actually mean? Not the shit that you post or the shit that you're telling people. And you know what the thing is, man? And I realize one thing people were bullshitting about their hustle before social media let's 100%, get that straight 100%. let's get that straight right now how many times have you spoken to somebody and like oh i'm doing this i'm doing that even even we fabricate the 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 best times of our lives in our in our old photo mm -hmm, albums mm -hmm. you know when you have a picture and see i World used to or, be like this, or this or yeah yeah or with your girlfriend or whatever and you're like all you saw was happy times right yes but it, with real life, was, it wasn't like that. It, it's not like it's that. It's funny because I remember um, I was watching this show. I'm sorry to get off on a real tangent real quick, but I was watching this show, and the guy was like, oh, look at these pictures. Um, look how happy we were. And the girl, the lady, his ex-wife was like, oh, come on. Don't be delusional. You were angry that day. You absolutely hated being there. Don't you remember? And that made me realize, I mean, yeah, we're doing this shit from a long time, man. We actually we, we want to show people um, the best side of us, which is fine, but the 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 – counterproductive part of that is that you start to believe that you're actually hustling when you actually physically aren't and so that's the shit that pisses me off like you start to believe that you're somebody else well yeah you start to conjure up this this personality that you know um that's that's really just packaging you yeah. you, you focus on and then what do we say all the time 
You know, business isn't just about packaging. It's no, about it's the raw not. materials. It's about, it's about the, the process. It's about the type of shit that you actually the produce. The people. It's not the packaging. And the people in the right places, too. The right people in the right places. Yeah. It's not just about the people. It's not just about the... It's all of it together. It's the engineering mechanism of business. And the real detriment to that type of action is that when everybody sees... So it doesn't take much to talk shit. No. It or doesn't. to post something that, hey, we're doing this. I'm doing this. And it looks good in camera. It looks good on a photo. It doesn't take much to talk shit, bro. It takes much. It takes a lot to hold yourself back and be super excited about the small things that you're doing currently. 100%. Because you know that you're, there's more to come. So exactly. it's the people that have nothing more to come to have to, to kind of really zoom in on that little achievement or little success that they're getting and they're embellishing the shit out of it, right? A black belt who's a killer in their sport doesn't have to talk shit. 100%. The game it, talks for itself. The, the, in the club... They're look. Everyone's looking like, yo, don't don't mess with that dude yep. or that girl. She, mm-hmm. She's quiet. Yeah. And there's a reason why nobody's talking to them right now because they're trying to figure out how to fucking beat them today. It's funny. I just I just finished twice now Ronda Rousey's book. Uh, it's called My Fight. Mm. Uh, and and she talks a lot about that through her competition day, day, days in judo and even in the UFC and uh, strike force. How much shit talking there was to her and like demeaning things people would say to her and like her 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 combatants and whatever. And she was just like. People already know I'm dangerous, and you're going to feel that once I get in there with you. I don't yeah. need to say anything. Yeah. I don't need to wave my hand in front of your face and stuff like that. That's all show. Yep. And believe me, I'll, y- you feel the soul buckle, as you know, in a fight when that show has gone out of them. Yeah. And it's funny because I see it all the time, man. I see it all the time. The people who are saying or posting all shit like – and this is not me hating. It's just really like real talk, though. It's – um. Oh, I worked X amount of hours today. Oh, man, I worked so long. So the fuck what? So, this is what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. You don't go around telling people I walked from my car to my work. You just have to do you that just do shit. it. You want to be an entrepreneur. You want to hustle. You want to work. You, wanna, you, wanna, you have the audacity to say that you want to be a, in the NBA. You have the audacity to say you want to be in the UFC. Right? Then why the fuck are you bragging for the things that you need to do? I'll, you don't brag to ch- checking off your checklist, bro. I'll tell you right now. Hustle, the hustle, like the hustle, the absolute hustle of a person goes on during the hours when nobody's watching, during the hours when nobody else is doing it, it, it goes uh, unsaid, it goes uh, undocumented, and these are things, that's what makes a master of some, you know, out of someone. It's, it's when they're doing things when nobody else is fucking watching. Yes. When nobody else is watching, I still love doing what I do out of mastery and craft and, uh, and artistry, and I'm just going to keep doing it just to do it without anybody saying, hey, hey, good job. Absolutely. That's not a hustler. Look at all the, the, the great artists of the entire world. They spend most of their lives alone. Like they, Nobody even they knew just, they were doing that. They just got recognized because some, something happened and they're like, oh, look, this is amazing, and that person's dead now. Yes. They didn't go around like, hey, hey Mike Landry's like, hey, check this shit that I did, yeah. man. Yo, <laughs> look at yo, the painting yo, I just did. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I had dinner with the Pope, yo. Let's... It's you know just, I'm the shit. Just imagine, like, just saying what you fuck. just said. Imagine if you were JD Rockefeller in this day and age, or somebody was. Imagine the amount of things you're gonna post about using you know oil and coal for to, to fuel things and, mm. and and metal, right? The metal industry, or 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 Einstein for finding for finding the, like the light bulb of uh, you know or, or or whatever it is for electricity. Sorry. Yeah. Like, how, what are you gonna say these days? You can't even compare to that shit. You really can't. I work 16 hours a day. Great. Did you find electricity? No. I didn't see that guy posting that. <laughs> well, okay. Look, <laughs> if you see in our inspiration board, right, the only person who actually uh, specifically did it on purpose, actually, who talked a lot of shit was Muhammad Ali. Yes. Right? But that was strategic but in that his was game a plan. Strategic game plan, but he executed. That's part of his chess. So when you, live the, when you live your life on the edge like that, because... Just as fast as he could be a champion, a world champion, that's how fast he could have fallen if he got knocked out when he was talking shit, right? Because you could be like, oh, because he represented black people at that time. Like he was against a very, very forward thinker. But he could also have been a detriment to that ideology yeah, if he'd course. lost. Yeah, of So course, not of a course. lot of people have the balls to, to put live themselves the- to that. Yeah. Here's the thing. People who succeed, uh, this includes for a lot of people who, who are true leaders, I'm talking about managers. I'm talking about true leaders. And when I'm saying leader, uh, as in every which way of a leader as a person, 
people naturally take to you, people will naturally follow you, they're always the most vulnerable person in the room. They're the ones that risk the most. They're the ones that put themselves out there the most, that put their emotions out there the most. And these guys are the people, uh, or, or these women are the people that 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 are only seen as successful because they do all that stuff. Yes. Because they're not constantly boasting about, look what we did. Look what I did today, right? And like That doesn't matter to them. It's just, again, part of the process. And here's the thing with these days, especially with the whole social media thing or um, uh, just in general, everybody seems to be playing checkers. Yeah. Who can get there the fastest? Anybody yep. who understands checkers, that means stacking and, and as fast as you can, yeah. clear this other guy out. Eating left to right the next opponent. What the real artist does is he plays life like chess. Yep. That's what they do. It's strategic. It's planned. It's not emotional. It's counter. It, 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 it's, it, it, it's a counterattack. Yes. It's, it's moving, not always it's, attacking. It's moving one step behind to move exactly. three steps forward. Exactly. Yep. And that's what people don't play these days. They don't play chess anymore. They play fucking checkers. Yeah, because I don't even know what they're thinking. playing. Yahtzee. Because they've always been short-term thinkers. You could see. You could map it out. All the people who are playing this way have always been that way. Like, look. Look at my pile of checkers right now. Yeah. We just started the game. Look at my pile. I got like five. Yeah, five that's five great. Checkers. That's, that's perfect. great. But your ego will be the reason you're going down. That's that's at the end of the day. If you want to be see, – I, I see it all the time. I, I talk to young entrepreneurs and, and people who want to, quote, unquote, make it all the time. And – the, the positioning has always been about them. Dude, how many years have we been in business? And this is the first time we actually fucking talked to on, about anything. Yes. About anything. About anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I have on my Instagram. I really don't even post on my Instagram because right. I don't right. really give a shit to be, you know, uh, obviously I have to post more. But <coughs> I, 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 I kind of hesitate about putting my entrepreneur thing um, title on my Instagram. But sure. then I started thinking like, yo, fuck that. I'm more of an entrepreneur than and like 99% yeah. of these motherfuckers 100%. out there. And I and and the thing that bugged me is like I I the fact that I I even felt hesitant to even post that because of all these whack fake people out there was a reflection of myself. So I said, "Fuck it, man!" Like, yo, I am a real entrepreneur. I'll put my shit, uh, my knowledge in the state, the stuff that 100%. we do in yeah. front of anybody, yeah. even online markers. I could bang with online mark quote unquote entrepreneurs all day. So the thing with that is like now. Now it's be it's it's a constant struggle between the people who are supposed to be hustling who are actually hustling and the the vast majority of people who think they're hustling exactly and who think they're entrepreneurs or yes. who think they're actually doing something because it's the okay put it this way when you when you're with a group of guys right and you're going out to a club isn't it usually the ones who are rowdy who talk a lot of shit that don't actually get the women that's true very true of course. Isn't that true? Yes, it's true. And if you see a group of girls, usually, right, in a club, isn't it usually the the hot po the the hot, quote unquote hot prize that is actually not talking to anybody? Yes. Yeah, because they're the ones <laughs> like, that are like, wait, what's that one about? Right. Mysterious. But, wh <laughs> but why is that? Tell me why. Why are the the quote unquote and you know d this is just for, as an example don't label me as a whatever mm. quote unquote the the non the less good looking people in the group why are they the loudest well because they want to capture attention exactly and they're not getting the attention exactly it's both an offset because you're not getting attention because you're an idiot but at the same time you're an idiot and that's why you don't get attention <laughs> yes because here's the thing when you have the most value you don't need to be loud exactly yeah Hundred percent. When you actually have the most value in the room in the social space in the world, yes, you don't have to be loud, no. right? Not at all. You don't have to create all these friction this, and this and, and friction, and this like, you know, all this you. buzz, this hype shit behind anything to garnish just attention. When you focus on yourself and focusing on your actual mission, which our mission was actually helping first people around us to help other people, so our team to be great in order to serve our community, you don't have to fucking talk shit because everything you do is speaking volumes. For, for itself. Everything we 100%. do speaks volumes. We don't have to talk on this shit. Because the, right. the things that we do here, the how we scrutinize ourselves, and I said it yesterday, 100%. we scrutinize ourselves. More than anybody, more than anybody scrutinizes like yourself, we literally go at it. Yes. Yes, on when each you, other, yeah. Uh, as 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 friends, as business partners, as as entrepreneurs, as fellow uh, craftsmen, yes, we do go at it, 
um, we scrutinize the crap out of ourselves and each other here in this workplace. Highly, highly stressful, but at the same time, it's highly rewarding. Do you remember um, Apollo 13, the movie? Houston, Somewhat. Houston, yeah, I Houston, do. we have a problem. I do, yes. Now, imagine, imagine, you know, having problems and they, they I don't know if you remember this, the scene where they're, the people in Houston had all the items that were on the ship and they're trying to figure out yes, yes. how to think, right? Now, imagine that one person saying, no, I, it, you, you guys have to listen to what I'm saying. Yes. I, trust me, I know this, blah, 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 blah. But what did they do? They were going at each other, like, no, how about this? Like, be, why? Because in a life and death situation, the best idea wins. Yes. Not my idea. No. Wins. It's not about personal ideals and it's not about my best idea. Or, or my, my feeling is, I feel like nobody gives a shit about how you feel when it comes to problem solving. Absolutely. The best solution wins. It should No win. one gives a crap about how you feel. I don't feel good about that. Well, nobody really gives a crap. At the end of the day, no one actually gives a shit about you. They really don't. I'm so, like, that, that's the number one thing that pushes they me really forward don't. every day. It's like, no one actually gives a shit about me, man. Because nobody's going to come up to you and just he- give you a handout. Hey, you know what? Let me pay for your mortgage this month, <laughs> no. okay? No. I love you, and I'm going to give you the mortgage payment this month. Yeah. No problem. And I'm going to do it again next month. Ain't nobody going to do that for you, man. Well, here's a test. If you, if you have people around you, right, and you're providing for them, if you, if you lost all the ability to provide for them, how many of them will stick around? 100%. Like this is the, the test truth. that you that's should ask yourself, that's the which truth. is fine. There's certain relationships and strategic partnerships that that uh, are valuable. It's positioned like that. That are valuable, yeah, and it's positioned like that, right? But if you are, you know, debilitated to make a certain move or to to move forward because of your your you know your fear of other people's scrutiny, then you know that it still doesn't make sense because of that fact. Right, so the best idea always should win. And if you think you're valuable and you think your idea is actually tangible, then speak it. But you should have, have a way to back con- that up in context of everybody else. You should take everything else yes, as well at the same time. Right? It's all in fairness to to hear everybody else's solution out too. Uh, and and also at the end of the day, you got to be able to back that up. Whatever facts that you may have, or whatever whatever ideals you may have. You better be able to back that up with facts. Yes. So let's just say in a case like that, Apollo 13, yeah, you better be able to back that up. Like I've done this before or and or this is what I've been trained to do and this is how this is gets reconfigured. So believe me, this is the only way we're going to stay you know, alive in this situation, right? Yes. So why did this even this podcast even happen this today? Because because of a conversation that we just had before we started where where we re- were reminiscing about what happened in Guangzhou. Our mm-hmm. China trip. Yes. And where when we actually first got there and getting the lay of the land, we were walking around the Canton, Canton Fair, Fair complex. complex, which is a massive, massive complex. It's literally like if anybody knows. Okay. So let's everybody can ideal like a football field. It's more than 10 put together. Absolutely. More than 10 put together. And when we got dropped off, we were actually too early. We were a day early because I miscalculated the day. We all did. Yeah. So we were a day early, but luckily our Airbnb was able to get us in, but we had to wait a few hours yes, to yes. get a room. And luckily our Airbnb was literally steps away from the complex. So what did we do? We we're like, okay, you know what? Let's walk around and see what, what the hell's around here, mm-hmm. right? Mainly for food and, and drinks, but we didn't find anything. So while we were walking around this massive complex, 6 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> 6 a.m. in the morning. Around 7. 7, 7 a.m. <laughs> we were seeing a bunch of hustle, right? Because um, the vendors were coming into the complex, getting their stuff ready. And a, a, a few people, it was weird. It was, it, we'd never seen this before. Were grabbing a lot of cardboard, like flattened cardboard on a trolley. like. And a, we're talking like a massive trolley. Like a massive trolley. Like two... like. Eight, like seven, eight feet high yes. worth of boxes. And the crazy thing is it wasn't young people. It was, it was older people. And at we're least talking like, like 60, in 70, 60s, 70s, 70s, 60, 70. And a, a little woman, probably about five foot two, five foot three in her 60s, were dragging these two carts, pulling them as she was steaming up ahead. And she's looking at me and this guy saying, what the hell are you guys doing here? You're too slow. Get out of my way. I got more important things to do in life than wait around behind you two. And she was. She had more hustle, more determination, and let me tell you, give you just a little concept. That fair that she was getting ready for wasn't until two and a half, three days from that point in time. Yeah, 
But she, her hustle in her mind was like, I got to get this done so that I can do other things to prepare for this. Mm. Man, the hustle involved is unreal. The, the mentality involved is, is man, I got to get this because uh, there's nobody handing me anything in life. I've had the shit kicked out of me in life. And guess what? I'm going to take care of these problems myself. But an important part is is her energy yes, doing so. Doing it. She wasn't. If you saw that type of shit here, man, you'd have seen that person stomping, like stomping around, like moping Ugh, around. My life sucks. It's almost, it's almost like purgatory, right? Like yeah. that's the cross that yeah. they're bearing. Yes. But she's like, yo, I'm I'm, I'm doing money. This. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm, out of uh, out of a town full of billions of people, millions of people who don't have jobs. Exactly. Yo, this this is my hustle right yeah, now. Yeah. This is my hustle. Like I'm gonna get it. She was basically looking at us like, "You two, get out of my. You two, little tourists, move. I gotta get. I gotta get going. And I what, gotta get my business going here." And, and you remember when we were walking around the city, uh, looking for food, the food stalls. Yes. The majority of those people were old people, hundred percent, that that were operating the food stalls. 100%. And they were hustling. They were grabbing people. They were, they're yelling. Yeah, you know, um, and they you know, do this every single day. Even, what what is retirement there? Even the youth there. You could see it start from very early because mm-hmm. a lot of shopkeepers had little kids that were already taking the cash from us. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And anybody, listen, if you're Asian and you have, or anybody actually, and if you've had, um, you know, if you've owned a store growing up with your family or if they've had a business, you know you've had to work there at some point in time as a kid, right? And it, that starts very early from there. And you could see it because even the young cats from like, you know, uh, obviously they were in high school or maybe college or whatever. They're out there working, grinding, and they're talking to people. They're bringing people into the shops, right, for whatever little commission they may get. Yeah. Whatever, a couple dollars they may get. You know, the funny thing is when, and I'm going to call people out right now. Last night I was watching the Raptors were playing. And I know a few people who have businesses. And I was just, you know, scrolling through the stories and stuff like that. And I see these people, you know, and I, they say they hustle. They, you know, they're trying yeah. to get somewhere. They're nowhere right now. They they need to get somewhere. And I see them watching the game, drinking and stuff like that. I'm like, sh- but you're not fucking hustling, man. You you have time to watch a game. You you have that much money right now that yes. you have you you know what I mean. You could put your feet up and, and take a second to watch a damn game. Like, I missed Christmas. How many Christmases did we miss? We've missed multiple. And New I think years. Christmas, Christmas, spending time with your family is more important than a watching a game. fucking game. Yeah. And how many times have we done that? Without multiple. question. I don't even know my nieces right Every now. Every year for like six years, seven years. And these people are like, literally have just started. Yes. Well, literally have <laughs> just started. And I guarantee you these people, if you look back on past feeds, they had a different business they were pushing a couple months back, which probably t- did not take off. And a couple years back, they had a different hustle, so to speak, which didn't take off and also bombed. You know, Listen, yeah, man. it's not the industry that you're pushing. It's you. It is you. <laughs> it is you. And you got to be, you gotta you gotta be honest with yourself. It's you. You know what attitude we have when anything happens in this business, within the confines of this building, within the confines of, of anything related to us on the web or anywhere, we take that shit personally. We actually say that was my fault that that happened. Yeah. That was my fault. And there's something that has to be done about it immediately to correct this. Put a process in place so that it never happens again. Put the right people in charge of the, in, uh, of, of the problem. But we take that shit personally. If you are the type of person that can just simply walk by something and, and just be like, ah, it's okay. It's another day. Then you don't deserve to be considered a hustler. You do not. You don't even deserve your fucking life, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, you deserve the life you're not that you don't have. Because you're not grateful. Right? So how do we, how do, first of all, how do you know if you're actually hustling? Okay. And, and I think the biggest reason why people think they actually hustle is because the people around them actually don't. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm serious. That's it's true. I, I think that's really It's true. It. Because in context, yeah, my parents work hard, but I work a little bit harder. So yeah. Yeah, I'm a hustler. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I'm, oh, I, I might be working and putting the game on. Yeah, but uh, did you finish the shit that you need to do? Because if you actually did need to finish it, t- why are you putting anything on? Three hours later. <laughs> right? I don't think people realize the compounding effect of actually focusing and doing your shit um, and keeping your head down. And for the moment, I, so w- I give myself for us when we first started this business, like five years. If this doesn't even kick off in five years, fuck it. There's whatever. no point. There's no of point. Of course. And but, that's, but that's realistic. But within this five years, I'm not letting anything take this shit away from me. Like my focus is fully on this. Full, full, full. Everything we do, everything we, we live, breathe, Listen, and all that for shit. for a lot of years, and actually more so now than ever, we don't even go out anymore. 
No, we don't no, do no. friend, uh, whatever hangouts and all that stuff. We don't go to to the bars till till the, till the late evenings. We don't, you know, we we don't barely even see each other in a social aspect. Yes, there's very many ways that's that's not healthy for you, but we just don't want to let up. We don't want outside distractions. Because yeah, getting that, to you. there's a lot of outside distraction out there. People, if you go out, go out to a setting, go out to a restaurant setting or a bar setting. Look at the bullshit around you. Look at the bullshit talking about what this person has and what they didn't have, or what negative aspect of li- th- their life that they hate and whatever. That's all coming into you, eh? If that's around you, that's what you're absorbing. Understand that. If you have a website to do. If you have marketing pieces to write out, if you have something to film that you need to get for your business to be done, why the fuck are you talking to me about Game of Thrones the last season, bro? Right. You, right. I, I couldn't even jump into any of this right. conversation. Same. You know how, I don't I don't you, I can't relate to you. You know how many times everyone's like, yo, did you just watch Game of Thrones? No, motherfucker, I'm I I, I don't have time yeah. to watch that shit. Yeah. Like, why do you? Didn't you tell me that you want to actually succeed in life? Why are you watching Game of Thrones? You're, you're, you're occupying your how many hours? To That's the a lot season? of seasons to watch. How many hours? That's many, a lot of hours. How many hours? Right? And to and know then the I hear details people, of a I, fictitious when, world. When I ask these people, oh, did you do this, this, and this, and this, I told you? No. Oh, I don't have time. You don't fucking have time? You don't have time? You cr- Dude, come on, man. I, I, like, what did I say to you the other night? I spent until 2 a.m. speaking with China to get our clothing samples done. Yes. Because that's really the only time I had. Well, but and, I spent the whole fucking day design, working out the new business, working on this business. And, and to be honest with you, it's not even like the, the, that's the only time you had. It's the way that business works because they are about 12 hours in advance. That's the only time they will answer you. Yes. Guess what? You have no choice anymore. This guy didn't have a choice to do it. Yeah. Because it's not like he can contact somebody here when it's 11 a.m. here, 11 p.m. there. They don't care. But to, to tell you the th- truth, the our late the contact point that we, she was pushing me, which is I love. Yeah. I'm like, yo, yeah. I I could get down with yeah. this shit, man. Because yeah. it was uh, twelve o'clock, and then she kept going back and forth, and she kept pushing and pushing. I'm like, I like working with this person. We this is the type of people that, that we you want to work need with because yeah. they're finding solutions. They want to push for the, and push this forward. Yeah, when, whatever I wanted, I would have, whatever vision I had for that piece at the moment. They're like, oh yeah, we could do this, this, and this, and there was no, no, I can't do that. It was always, yeah, let me find out. Yes, we can. How about this option? This is a great option too. The other customers tried out. Yes. I'm like, this is amazing. I'm not yeah. going to drop the ball. No, this you is can't crazy Because like, it was like pulling teeth with other people. As, yeah, especially with this one who's pushing forward pushing with it. Forward. Yeah. Carlo, get, um, let me work on the PO right now. Give me a sec. I'm like, fuck, okay. I'm used yeah, to people yeah, saying, okay, yeah. I'll give it to you tomorrow. We're now busy it's like now. 1230 in the morning. And but said, hey, now you're, you're waiting for this now. I need this ASAP. I'm like, done. I need this ASAP. So yeah. let's get this going, yes. right? So. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go to sleep. Yes. What, what, what for? I, I hate going to. Sleep. It's like, like I said before. It's like for me, business is like playing a video game when you don't want to fucking sleep because you want to get to that next level. And then when you wake up early, you you hope your parents didn't turn off the TV because your You're Super still, Nintendo yeah, couldn't yeah, save. Yeah. That's exactly what, how or I business, feel like about yeah. it. Because and that's real hustling. But I'm, I'm not. I'm not going on social media. I'm like, yeah, just talk to China because I'm yeah, working exactly. tonight. And yeah, I'm hustling. I'm tired. Blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up and work. Yes. Like nobody gives a shit. Nobody, no one, no one listen, cares if you're listen, tired. No one gives a shit that you are trying to be successful in life. Actually, no one gives yeah. a shit. Real talk, man. Guaranteed. No that. one cares. I'm sorry. You want to be an accountant. You want to be a videographer. You want to be an entrepreneur, a trainer. No one gives a shit about the... Str- maybe like, you know, yeah, commonality. Hey, I support you. You know, I want to look out for you. Blah, blah, blah. No one actually cares. So stop living your life based on a post and based on, you know, the perception of how you want people to live. Actually, fine. Document it and be like, yo, cool. Yeah, just got off the thing. Done. Right? Done. You don't, don't do it in an in intent to, to be like, yo, I'm out hustling. And to everybody. get recognized. To get recognized for shit. Listen, anybody that's done anything great has never done it for the purpose of being recognized. Well, let me ask you this. When all this shit goes away, you're going to stop working? Exactly. I'm gonna uh, like yeah, exactly. straight up. If yeah. every single thing around you, like TV, blah, blah blah, you're gonna stop working. Yeah. If your answer is, if you feel in your heart it, it's yes, then you're you actually kudos for you. you yeah. You're fine. You're yeah. in the wrong yeah. space, bro. Yeah. Like you're in the wrong space. Yeah. You you could ask these kids who play video games. If everything else around them disappeared, they'd still be playing video Those games. Still playing. Yeah. 
whatever all the that hype, video game all the whatever, is. yeah, yeah, they're so obsessed with it, and they don't need to be doing. You know, it. and that's always a question. It's like if if you stop getting paid for what you do, or if you're not even getting paid, and uh, believe me, and believe us when we say as entrepreneurs, you don't get paid for anything you do. Yeah, everything you do, you do not directly get paid for. You don't. Or if you actually show that you're you are flossing and stuff like that, then you don't have big enough dreams because you waste exactly. your money on dumb shit exactly. like exactly like a new watch and stuff like. That. I love watches. Yeah, I, I that's my like Audi R8. I yeah. told you I'm, yeah. I want to design my own house. I want to yeah. have a huge property right. with nobody around me. But I'm not gonna show people that shit. Absolutely not. Are you crazy? You know, people treat me different now. One hundred percent. You know what I mean? They treat you different when you're successful. You know why? Do you, like you could tell people who really are. You, th- yeah. you think fucking Warren Buffett is posting shit and be like, yo, this is my. Pl-. He doesn't want you to know where the hell he is. Listen, I um, where I not where I live, but where I drive by every day is a very affluent neighborhood, mm. and it's on my way home. Um, and there is never any noise, any racket, barely any lights or commotion in any of those homes. And each home there is average about anywhere from 15 plus million on that road. And I, there's nothing that you hear from those people. They'll pull out, do their grocery run, do their yoga class, come back. I'm back here. I'm yeah. back home. There's no fancy stuff around me. There's no, and you know what? They'll have maybe a nice car, but it's modest. Yes. It's not outlandish. It's not crazy. And man, that is like, that is the true, true definition of wealth. You it's know, I, not about like having a fancy watch or a fancy car or having a nice fucking Gucci shirt on. I hate Gucci, by the way. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> like, hey, it's, but people think that is a measure of either wealth or success. Because that's their measure. That's their measure. Because when, you, when you're lacking a lot of things, the things that you idolize become Material. the trophy. Materials. Yeah. You know, what, what's a natural, what are our basic needs? Food, water, shelter. Mm-hmm. Maybe relationships. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? we they need, need to connect. They, they need, need to, connect. to connect with people. What, yes. else, what else do we need to survive? Air, water. Okay, so we all check, like we live in Toronto. Who the hell, even even the homeless could go to a place to find shelter. We were saying that too. You know, I was talking, uh, I was talking the other day um to someone and it's uh to actually to linda and, and you know when we were in india this was northeast india in bihar so look this up northeast india in bihar there is nothing but mountains hills dirt road and either disabled or le- legitimately homeless people around you while we were walking those dirt roads there is every couple of feet somebody with either no hands no legs or, you know, half their bodies torn off or whatever, maybe because of yeah, natural that, disease. That and the po- they were the, pic- the video you sent me, right? And they were yeah. grabbing at your ankle. Yep. They're grabbing at your shorts. They're pulling, they were pulling up my kid to, for my kid was not even like, was just one years old. She can't even give you fucking coins. Yeah. Now that is friggin' that is, is that's poverty. Po- that's poverty. That's at its poverty. worst. So not only are you poor, are you homeless? You don't even have a piece of your body and you can't even walk. Some of those people live in, um, you know, like those carts that you, like we have one, like to just move boxes around. So they actually, they're on it all day long and they drag themselves with their hands on the road. What do they do? All day. How, like, how do they? Panhandle. Oh, Whatever man. you get, a piece of bread from a shopkeeper. Somebody throws something, so you do gotta they, grab okay. it. So do they, when you give them a piece of bread, do they value it? They appreciate it? Some do, some don't. Isn't that crazy, man? Here's the thing. And a lot of those people, me. you know what they do? Okay. And, and, and this is reality of the world. I'm not saying this to, to go and say, hey, these type of people do this. This goes on everywhere. They get their children to panhandle, and the parent, they would then take it to the parent, and the child gets nothing of what they get. Yo, that is friggin' reality. Yeah, that's reality. And that child is hustling. Believe me. Every person they're grabbing at, they need some change. They need a piece of bread. They need a piece. You know what I mean? Wow. That is hustle. For, for literally just to survive. And you think those kids are posting that shit on Instagram? <laughs> they obviously can't. And for followers, like, yo, I hustled today. I got but some bread. Just to take everything into context, when you guys say right. you have no time, there is a, a very successful um, entrepreneur by the name of Ed Milet. And I got something out of his um, you know, podcast not long ago. He says he lives every day. He goes, you know, it was man that determined that there's only 24 hours in one day. He goes, my day only has seven hours. Right? 
Wow. So therefore, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, sorry. Seven, uh, no, eight, it was, it was uh, um, eight, eight hours. Uh, yeah. Is it seven hours or eight hours? Well, it was a small amount, a smaller amount of hours than twenty-four hours. No, yeah. So okay, yeah. so he basically takes one day and he breaks it into three parts. Mm. So from seven a.m. to whatever, he's doing this. From you know one or two in the afternoon to seven p.m. or whatever, he's doing this. And then from from that point, he's doing this. Like he designates each part. He goes so essentially every day, alongside of his sleep and his rest. He calculates, I will live three of my days in one day every single week. He goes, how much further am I ahead with you after, am I ahead of you after I do that for one day? He goes, now compound that interest. I've been doing this for fucking 15 plus years. Think of how I got as far as I did and you're still here. Think of how many more days I have lived and how much more I've accomplished because I live my way, my life like that. Yep. And it's not like, oh, I got 24 hours today and I'm just going to chill and for a bit, I'm going to sit around and no, he lives his life with a purpose all the time. Even if that purpose is to connect with people. Okay. So for two hours, I'm going to connect with old friends, yes. with family. He compartmentalizes that and says, okay, this part of this day, day one here. So the guy does in a week's time, if you do that math, how many weeks has he lived already? Yeah. When you've only lived one week. The now math. think about for the month. Now think about this guy's been doing that for fifteen years. Well, he his net worth is what five hundred million. Four hundred million. Four hundred million. Well over, and he finds his way to. This guy is jacked. He's fit. He's in shape. You can tell he eats well. You can tell he trains hard twice, two hours a day, right? Andy Frizzell, another person. Now you can't tell me you don't have time. You know the outcome you want is just an accumulation of the habits you need to have. One hundred percent. Right. The things that you're missing in your life, you just have to tune into that habit of, say, a quote-unquote $500 million man or woman. It's not that you're not there. It's just you're not tuned for it. Exactly. You know, what's your mentality like? Yeah, what's, your what habits, your sleep your practices habit like? are not. What, what knowledge are you lacking um, that will get you to that point? What relationships do you have to establish to get you to that point? You know, what are the stupid habits that you have to get rid of that you know are detrimental for your success to get you to be a $500 million woman or man, you know, uh, or to, to get shredded 10% body fat isn't going to come when you're eating chicken wings every other day, especially in this industry that we're in, in the health and fitness industry and wellness, right? We see it all the time. I want to drop 10 pounds of fat. Let me do it in two months. Let me do it in a month or whatever it is. Right. Or it's, it's, you know, 30 days before the summer. Oh my God, I'm going to, I'm going to get my six pack. So people forget that everything in life, where you're at, mentally, emotionally, financially, physically, has been an accumulation of whatever habits and practices that you have been applying every single day for your life. So wherever you're at, there's nobody else to make you, to, to make you accountable. There's nobody else to blame. That's all you, dog. Yeah. That is on you. If you're fat, that was your fat friggin' habits. Yes. If you're broke, that was your broke-ass mentality. But you could see it. You could see, dude, how many of uh, uh, the people that we've come across blame it on other things? Of course. The successful ones be like, yo, what I need to do? What did it's I me. need to do to fix this like, thing? How many times have we sat down with somebody who was like, oh, this is because of this. Oh, maybe it's bread. Maybe it's this. A hundred percent. And then how many, times, Every day. how many times have we actually sat down in front of somebody and be like, yo, I need to do this. What, what, tell me what I need to yeah, do. Tell me what when I need to do. I'll leave and I'll come back and tell you that I did it and then... Tell me what to do again. There's, I've literally, I've, I've sat down with thousands of people, thousands, and I must have only come across that type of person once or twice. Once or twice. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Even some of the, of the people who are quote unquote kind of successful in mm -hmm. their fitness journey still lack that, that yep. head down. Yep. I'm going to do whatever the fuck yep. I need to do right now yep. because this is what I actually There's want. There's no compromise. There's no, co like, dude. What, how much? How much do I have to wait? How much chicken breast? Yo, Christian, uh, what kind of scale do I need There's to get? No because because yeah. because I want to make sure it's on point. How much? What kind of water do I have to drink? Is tap water okay? Or or do is there a spe spe I love specific? I working with those people, and it, they come very few and far between. What kind of running shoes is best for my feet, dude? Because exactly. I I want to run as much as possible. Yeah, or there's a there's a pain it, in yeah. my right knee when I'm doing this. What what, do what stretches do I have to do yeah. to get rid of it? Do I have to see uh, Neil or C's? Okay, b book me in tomorrow or today. Does he have something today? today there's a call to action and it's urgent it's very very urgent in these people and that's that is lacking in a lot of society and, and this is what's this is what i'm sorry fucking pisses me off with people man you you have the audacity to talk shit that you actually want it you say you fucking want it but you're doing nothing about it 
I agree. And if you're listening to I this, agree. man, if you're listening to this, stop doing that shit, man. Wake up. Like, dude, you have the audacity to say you're going to do something. Do it to the best of your ability and do it until it's done. Wake do it up. until it's fucking done. And don't ask for recognition or a pat on the back or somebody to be happy for your achievements or congratulations because nobody gives a fuck. They don't. And you're not doing it for that. If you're and doing, you're not doing and it, if it you're for doing that. And if you're doing it for that, then you're going to lose. You're going to lose. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it for the people that you care about that are around you, that are, you inspire every single day. And when, that, when you operate and serve in that and from that from that standpoint, standpoint you yeah. remember Jesus didn't write the Bible. Somebody wrote it about him. Hundred percent, man. 100%. Right. Percent. That's like he, yeah. Straight up. Straight the hell up. Straight up. You know. Yeah. You know what I mean. Stop yeah. trying to write your own Bible. Yeah. Let somebody write Let somebody about else you. Write it about you. But the you. things that that person has done garnish that action of somebody writing about them. 100%. So why don't you focus on that? Yeah. Stop. Stop. Stop simply documenting yourself just to get some some recognition in the spotlight. It's not really worth anything. Your likes aren't worth anything. They're really not. No. They're really not. And if that is what feeds you, then you have a lot more issues to deal with than just simply your, your entrepreneurship mind or, or, or your lack of, of, of business mindset. There's so much more that you got to work on. Exactly. Uh, I suggest you listen to this whole thing and actually take some action in your life and do something about yourself. Because uh, right now, the, 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 the type of actions that a lot of you are taking and a lot of people... Uh, you know, it, it, around you are taking are not the ones that it takes to either one, succeed in anything or, or, or two, to even be worth writing about. So if you needed this today, and I strongly um, hope that you're going to pay attention from now on, ask yourself, man, like, what am I lying to myself about? Am I actually working or am I just saying it? Is, or is it, is it, is my efforts being done in context to everybody around me or at my actual full potential because the the thing that's eating you inside is, a, is that little fucking person saying you're not actually working hard mm -hmm. motherfucker mm -hmm. you're not actually working hard mm -hmm. stop talking shit just do it and that's what's bugging you that's what's bugging you because yep. you know in your yep. heart that you're not giving 100 percent. so yep. what would your life look like in the next month three months five months if you actually went all in and w did the things you did yeah that you needed to do you when you say that you're going to do something just do it. What did Conor McGregor say, right? He said, I, I say what I'm going to do, and I do it. Success is that fucking simple, That's man. that simple. It's that simple. It's that simple. No one's going to get you to, 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 to focus on the things that you need to focus yeah, on. But no you. one's going to measure your food or keep you accountable. Nobody else is looking. Yeah. It's Nobody's going to freaking, right? Yo, that's what I said. Like What I tell people all the time in, in, in um, our clients, like, yeah, we're here to give you the guidance and tools, but it's your responsibility to get your ass up and exactly. hustle. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And if that means measuring your food out every day, your water intake, if that means doing, you know, five workouts out of a week, 45 minutes of cardio every day, whatever it takes, your, you know, there's no compromise. Your, your sensei, your black belt sensei's job is to be there when the time starts to mentor you, to push you. But it's your job to get up and fucking get there. Do it. Yeah. It's your job to practice when it's time. Mm -hmm. It's your job to practice on the shit that you on suck your own at too. during that session. Like, yeah. shit, okay, sensei told me to focus on these things. I'm going to do it. I was the only white belt when I was eight years old, full of 50 people in my class, young people. And I was the only black belt that made it after 10 years, That's 10, crazy. 10, 15 years. That's crazy. The only yeah. one. And I was a fucking champion, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. but, it, but the reason why I did that is because I, just, I was fucking stubborn as hell. I was stubborn as hell. Everybody else made excuses. I look around everybody. I'm like, yo, you guys are all soft, man. What are you guys complaining about? This is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Dude, and judo and jujitsu is one of the hardest things to ever get a black belt in. You know why? Oh. Because you have to do the dumb shit repeatedly over, over and, over, and over and over and over and over again. We had to learn how to get up from a break fall. And yes. if we didn't yeah. fix our belt properly yes. and our gi properly yeah, when it got detail. up, I got slapped. Yes. If I, did, I had to go side to side break fall. A million fucking times. Yes. A million times. Even when you're a brown belt. Yeah. Yes. Again, you're still doing it again. again. Yeah. And again, if I walked in front of my senseis, in front of them, I get slapped. You're not allowed to walk in yes. front. That's disrespectful. That's Those fine details make a fucking black belt. Those fine details make a master. Yes. That understanding of how things should be and then understanding that's it mastery. without thinking. That's mastery. That's mastery. That's craft. Yeah. So break fall, motherfuckers. Fix your damn belt when you get up. Break fall. If you got something out of this today, hit us up. We're going to have this. Rant over. Thank you. Share this with people who need it.
Get at us at Strengthen You on Instagram, Facebook. We're all over the place. Strengthenyou.com at Strengthen You, S T R E N G T H N U on Instagram. Hit us up. Tell us you like us. Tell us you hate us. Give us feedback. Give us anything. Hustle. Hustle. Don't forget hustle. to hustle, man. And don't talk about it. Cheers. <laughs>